I'm Sir Tap Tap, and we're going back into Valhalla. Yes, we are, Parker. You just had to come annoy me, didn't you? Yeah. Hello. All right. <laughs> oh, music time. I, I, I don't... This really needs a random function. Remove right-clicking, swap two songs by clicking on both. Uh, whatever. Parker, please. Please. Down. Please. Um... All right. Ah, boss, you're back. Yeah, sorry about not being here earlier. I feel so bad that I I neglected to give like voices to all of the main people. Oh, by the way, all of my I'm not sure how many more videos I'm going to have, but um I figured I will probably do this whole dang thing and I'm going to keep um I'm going to stay ahead of this and just probably just release one a day. Um, if you're one of my patrons that that backs for the early videos tier, which is currently $5 a month, um, you can access the whole dang thing and some other videos that I actually haven't published yet. I, uh, since I do the daily, actually two videos a day lately thing, uh, I've got a bunch of backlog stuff, like a bunch of Strange Think games that I do once a week and uh, you know, other just stuff I haven't published out yet. I had a brief meeting with my BTC, and I looked it up. I wasn't making things up. That, that is the Bitcoin like acronym that, that drives me nuts. Also, this neck. Look at this neck. She is a majestic giraffe. Anyway, I had a brief meeting with my BTC regional manager. Parker, please. Parker. Get, get. Oh, everything all right? As all right as can be, considering we're closing eventually. Oh. Yay! Woo! When will that happen? I don't know. Brian said we'll be safe for a few months while paperwork is filed and everything's being put in order. Oh. I was also talking to him about you. It's a bit loud. Oh, it's actually not. Hmm. About me? Yeah, I was telling him to do whatever it takes to ensure you don't spend too much time without a job. If possible, to reassign you ASAP after closing. Thanks, boss face. Hey, if it helps, Brian might be the angriest of us all. They want to close the only bar in the whole area that hasn't given me any headaches, he said. Well, we're dead. What about Gil? He's the one that worries me the most, actually. He's kind of working along the credentials of another guy that has been working here before. Who? The one who brought a levitation potion threw himself off a building. Ah, yes, the levitation potion story. Oh, speaking of levitation potions, um, one of the most disappointing things in Oblivion, uh, no higher jump, no levitation potions. Uh, it just, I, I mean, it, let, it lets them more strictly design dungeons. In theory, I mean, the dungeons weren't actually any better, in my opinion. I, I guess it was important for those big Oblivion spires, maybe? But it just, it was not as fun. The jump ability in Morrowind was so good. They took every skill that I loved in Morrowind. I was a spear user. I jumped a lot. I used um, alteration spells to use the um, levitation stuff. Uh, they took all of that away. No spears, no... Ugh. It sucked. Not related to this, but yeah. Anyway. I find it hard to believe that Gil will find a job after all this. Why? Who is Gil? I have an idea of who he is, but I'm still putting pieces together. He's... He's Solid Snake. <laughs> Back to work. Imminent closures. No excuse to slack off. This is sudden. This is... Unless I missed something in the intro, where did this come from? You guys do know I can hear you right? This place looks familiar. It's Kitty! Hi, Kitty. This is the... Oh my god, her ears. Do the th do the ear thing. Oh, you have an awesome eye too. This this is the best girl right here. I'm sorry, Gil. Excuse me, is this the Valhalla bar? Oh, and they fixed her ears too. In the pre-release screenshot, she had human ears and kitty ears, and that's just wrong. That's that's bad, and you should not do that. It is indeed. Welcome to Valhalla. 
Oh god, what is side planning now? <laughs> Excuse me? I want a drink whose name has changed after many women protested. Can you get me that? <laughs> what? <laughs> are, you a, are you my teacher? <laughs> I actually know this one offhand. It's the piano woman. Um, what am I doing? Um, I like how she's like, she's my sociology teacher, what, not soci, um, social studies. Uh, aged? Does anything get aged and iced? I complained about this yesterday. Mixed. There you go. <laughs> she's just like, I hope she just asked for all of her drinks in the most roundabout, completely ridiculous way that no normal human being ever would. Very nice, thanks a lot. So you know, Sai, Miss... I'm Stella Hoshi, my pleasure. Yeah, I know her. She's been here before, yes? And she's got quad drills. You know, the double drills, and they don't even... Like, I don't... This is some advanced hair. Like, she's got full-length normal hair, and then drills just sprouting out of, like, nothingness. This is some incredibly advanced anime hair technology right here, for my friends takes all kinds of nano machines to make this happen. Yeah, I know her. She's been here before, yes? Yep, in fact, I'm glad you know her because she's left here this year last time. Her <laughs> ears. Oh god, so she left her help behind again. <laughs> she does this a lot. Not the first time, huh? Her helmet's been picked up by all sorts of people the last three months. Valets, nurses, morticians, fire jugglers. She's been lucky enough to always leave it with people who return it, at least. Whoa, quite a few people. I like the ear flick, but she does it a little too often. I noticed this in, um, what was it? Uh, there's, there's another game where people just blinked way too much. And I appreciate the idle animations, but they gotta have like a reasonable timing. It's not too awful, but uh, it's a little bit too much. Size is, size is as much of a sociable girl as she is a total klutz. At least when she's not being serious. She's very confident when she puts her mind to it. I see. So, did she recommend you this place, or... We're meeting here today. I can see why she chose this place. It's the kind of place she likes. Hmm. Say, is that Kira Mickey's autograph on that glass? Why is everyone seeing the same glass? Seems like the glass is a conversation starter. Nice. Yeah, it is. How did you get it? Um... Murder? She stopped here yesterday, just before the concert. <laughs> Look at those eyes! Oh my god, she's a fangirl. Her ears! Her ears. Really? I mean... Oh my gosh! Best girl. I mean, she did. Yeah, nice girl. Can I see it? Sure. Yep, this star-like signature is hers. So your name's Jill, then? Yes. Ain't this nice? Aww. Best, fa best girl has best facial animations, too. Here you go. Do you like her, Miss Stella? No, I'm sure she totally doesn't. Just call me Stella. I do. Oh, happy face. I was worried she's gonna do the Tsundere thing. Whenever you hear her songs, you're filled with so much energy and happiness. Too bad I couldn't purchase tickets for this one. I mean, they were sold out in minutes. Luckily, I can secure a couple for the next time she comes around. Oh, excuse me for a second. Hello? Where the hell are you? Car crash! Oh, you're helping. Would take long. Alright. <laughs> yeah, yeah, don't worry. I take it that was Sai. Yes. Will you wait for her? I will. In the meantime, I feel like having another drink. One that was prepared in memory of its creator's dearest friend. <laughs> drink in honor of a good friend. best character we've met so far, by far. Um, I 
Oh, I learned what, um, favorite beer or stats. It's beer replacement. I guess I should have, um, noticed that from context, but yeah, it's a replacement. Usually met by, like, you know, a fake fill-in. It's kind of unbearable if it's a movie. What? Drink in honor of a good friend? None of these seem to fit. Unless I miss. Unless it's a name, maybe. thing I can think of oh. the piano man has a story behind it but I don't I guess this one bad touch maybe because I mean you, you, you tend, you tend to have your bad touches with your friends, I, I guess. Uh, on the rocks. Here. Maybe I'm being too cryptic, but you should know these ones already. Crap. What? How was I? What? I don't see what the hint was supposed to be there. It isn't about my eye, is it? No, it's not. Or at least I don't think so. I don't guess there are many cat boomers. Cat boomers? Did you go through the procedure because of disease or because of the fad? I'd rather not talk about it. My deepest apologies, then. It's fine. You seem to know your drinks, Jill. I, I just gave you the wrong one, but whatever. Well, I guess I've had a bit more... Read a bit more than the recipe book. Do you like alcohol? Yeah, but not the usual way. I don't drink that much outside of canned beer. Their colors, their stories, the way you need to keep them stored, their designs. It sounds a bit silly when I say it out loud. Not at all. Do you collect them or anything like that? Actually, yeah. I started with my grandpa's collection. I'm slowly growing it. It's been hard because of my debts, but I managed little by little. Do you like alcohol, Stella? I'm here, right? But I'm normally more of a social drinker. Unless it's with somebody, I don't tend to drink much. I see. Sorry I'm late. Oh, it's... It's Helmet Girl. You took your sweet time. Yeah, sorry, sorry. I got caught in a rush hour traffic. And figured walking might be faster. Luckily, there was a building with emergency stairs nearby, and I climbed down. Climbed down? Took an air cab. Oh. I would suggest using ground transportation, but I'm happy to see you put safety first. Safety? Don't know. No. Flying cars is just way cooler. I still don't understand how they don't give you motion sickness. If I find out how to avoid it, you'll be the first to know. Anyway, I'll have whatever she orders next. I'd like a drink that was... You're at it again? You and your cryptic orders, leaving us with weird stuff. Hey, I expect only the best from whoever serves me. They need to be able to answer these kind of orders. Still, I'm sure you're wearing poor Jill out here with that kind of stuff. She's done quite well so far, actually. I guess I've, I've done well enough to not tick her off. 
whatever. Please order something normal, would you? That would be too fringe weavers. You'll have two drinks at once? No, we're sharing. What? Like half a glass worth? <laughs> Moron. Don't worry, you'll see. Two fringe weavers. I. Was there some story I missed? I mean, I've read all of the text aloud. Was it was it something to do with the Piano Man, maybe? Because that got... Gillian had a story about it, but... Uh, whatever. Two Fringe Weavers. Wait, why are you drinking the pure alcohol garbage? Aged. Next. I guess everything we serve is like complete garbage, so whatever. There you go. Two garbages. So, this one's for you and this one's for me. Said you wanted to ask for whatever I asked for, right? Oh, that way. You could have said it earlier. <laughs> oh yeah, here. Hey, so this is where I left my helmet. Thanks! You really need to be more careful with your things. Yeah, but I have spares. Those spares should be saved when the one you're using breaks or malfunctions, not when you lose it. Those helmets cost money, you know. Yeah, sorry. Should I say the boss got her head stuck because of a jammed button? Speaking of money, you still got that meeting at the bank tomorrow? Yep, you worried? I'll refrain for now. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't. Don't be, it'll be fine. Rumors are just rumors. Oh, tomorrow's where everything goes down, huh? They say something might happen at the bank tomorrow. But with all the tension in the air lately, it's hard to know if it's true. As if the fear mongering wasn't enough, people also started spreading baseless rumors. Just yesterday, I had to stop a group rampaging youngers, youngsters that heard the city would be leveled by bombs. Everybody's on edge. Yeah. I know you're worried, but I have to go... I have to go there. It's orders from the higher-ups. Tell me something. If somebody came after me, do you think they'd stand a chance? You're quite strong, but... I'll take something to protect myself. Be prepared for anything. Would that make you feel safer? Shouldn't, shouldn't you have a gun or something? Like... You have, like, full body armor. You should probably have a gun. Maybe. I'll tell you what. After I come back, we'll get ice cream. That way you can get all... Vent all your frustrations. Yes. Vent into your ice cream. Alright. Seems my vehicle here is to pick me up. You coming, side? Nah, I'll stay here a bit longer. Okay then, take care. Hi. She's such a worry ward. That means she cares about you. I've never doubted. Say, why does my helmet smell like bacon? <laughs> At least it doesn't smell like dog piss. Bacon. Not that I mind. I'm just curious. Well, you know how some things absorb the smell of what's nearby? I must have grabbed it from one of the ingredients. Do you believe all that stuff about tensions growing in that anarchist group trying to disband the White Knights? To tell you the truth, I'm a bit worried. Even in my division, there's some shady business going on, but I don't want to investigate too deeply. What kind of business? From what I understand, Things like working with human traffickers or drug dealers, letting them act as they wish. So even say the ones that do get apprehended are the ones that have failed them in some way. Stella always says the White Knights are just glorified mall security. She says that if it's been proven beyond a doubt that some shady business is going on, Saibatsu's main court branch would separate themselves from the whole White Knight division. Something about the association's fear of bad PR resulting in them in moving to the BTC. Sounds plausible. But when are we going to hear more about cat boomers? That's like the most interesting thing we've had so far. <laughs> who, who is this bunny? It's very familiar. Oh, let's put on... Um, yeah, that's right. Swack. Yeah, it kind of worries me though. Because I really like my job. And I guess similar fear exists among the upper ranks. Lately they seem restless. Too much politics, huh? 
It hurts my brain. I just want to rescue people and help them. I just want to do my job without worries about politics of any kind. What are you going to do with the bank tomorrow? My colonel wanted to relay some information to the manager. I was picked because he trusted me. Well, he said you're such a simpleton that you'd never give the wrong message, but his intention that counts. I don't... I, I, that's a pretty charitable reading of that, but whatever. Oh. Finally, the Dorothy has come to back to Valhalla. Not you. Please refrain from doing those sitcom-like entrances. You're disturbing other clients. Oh, come on. You know the audience would have gone wild with that one. And besides, you make it sound like you have a full house. Aw, oh, don't you... Don't you dare do 90s puns. You, you're in trouble enough, lowly bot 9000. I don't, I don't need any puns out of you. Ahem. It's uncommon to see you here two days in a row. I wanted to grab something before starting my shift. Grab something before they start grabbing me, because I hate you so much. Hey, you having a drink? Can I buy you one? <laughs> no, no one is concerned by this. You know, everyone's just like, ah, whatever. Stupid sex robot. Why, 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 why are the sex robots sentient? Like, there's so many un unanswered questions in this. We, like, they, they made dogs and cats sentient just for shits and giggles. And they make sex robots that have, you know, that are fully sentient. This seems unnecessary. Like, that's like going the extra mile just to be ridiculous for no real reason. <laughs> Whatever. Honey, you should follow her example and offer me drinks more often. We'll see. What are you having? I'll have what she's having. Then I've got the perfect thing. Let's have a blue fairy. One for both. One for each. All right. What 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 is with what is with her and not understanding how buying two drinks for two people works? That. <sighs> Whatever. Like this isn't complicated. It's four drinks for four cool guys. Yeah, let's get a little bit in that in there. Um, wait, which one is? Ah, yeah, whatever. Aged, mixed. I hope this is the one going to stupid lowly bot nine thousand. So I'm gonna wait. Yeah, I'm just gonna boost her up slightly. Uh, aged, mixed. Yes. There you go, you stupid robot. Two fairies! Hey, this is pretty good. See? And it's blue like your hair. It is. More of a teal, whatever. What's your name, sweetie? Call me Sai. Alright, Sai, I'm Dorothy. Say, Sai. Yes, yes. Sai, Sai. Shut up. Yes, yes. Say, say. I hate you both. Say. Why'd you just buy me a drink? I just thought you were cute as a button I wanted to invite you to join me. Wow, you have to be the first person to offer me a drink without having an ulterior motive. That includes fuckboy over there! <laughs> Poor fuckboy. What do you mean? Trust me, when you work in my kind of field, you learn to read cues from everything. And this girl is simple to a fault. Aw, poor Sai. <laughs> How so? I see what you mean. Either what you see is what you get type. That look on your face is one that simply sees no point in lying. Coupled with the fact that you're here in what looks like your work attire tells me that you're so married to your job that sex is too far down to your priority list to notice its existence. So if you invited me to drink because you found me cute, that's the extent of it, I believe you. Thank you. <laughs> she just... She called you a simpleton. <sighs> You say she's the first one. What about Deal giving you a ticket the other day? Who? Oh yeah, the little one with the dogs. No, he doesn't count. He looked like a humanoid mat. Seemed very perceptive, Dorothy. So there are male Lilims. Like, uh, is Lilim? Is that a real word? Like, I thought it was like a derivative of Lilith, which is why I figured they were all sex bots, but it seems like it's just Dorothy here that's sex bot 9000. You seem very perceptive, Dorothy, but I'm not that far too far behind. How so? I can tell your body is heavily modified with things you shouldn't even have. Oh! That's right. Your tongue. <laughs> oh my God. 
Your tongue is a Beb 69 with DNA scanning capabilities. Ugh. Your skin is coated with an anti-radiation finish? What, 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 what kind of fetishes are you into? Your joints are made of the premium ultra flexible variety. And the most important thing, your hands. What about them? I don't know how you modded your body, how modded your body is under the clothes. The tongue joints and skins are merely interesting. But your hands are the murder or Merge one on one of Realtor Industries. A model designed to shoot class 5 bullets for its fingertips. So? You're full of guns. I mean, you're just gonna be like, so? Clause G of Article 17, the Augmentations and Modifications Law, on topic of ballistic augmentations. Any humanoid or sapient creature under c civilian designation that upgraded of its person, told firearms of class 3 grade or higher, will be commissioned for disarmament or sent to danger zones. What are you gonna do? Nothing. Eh. I'm not in law enforcement, I just do rescue. Even if it was, I'm not on duty right now. Oh. I wanna know though, why go through with that upgrade? You would think that it would be very hard to hide, you know, something like that. Especially if it's like human eye visible. And you know, cyberpunk hellscape or whatever. A girl's gotta take care of herself, you know? I just want to be able to deal with things if they get ugly. And this is the most discreet mod I had. Or at least I thought so. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay then, can I give you some advice? I guess? The reason I can tell it's not your default hand model is your fingertips. The tips are a little bigger to make the cannons fit. You can get a small mod that changes them to disposable tips. Assuming they're being used for tell defense and not regular use, of course. I see. Well, I've gotta go. Ah yes, another thing. If you aim for the arms and legs, once is self-defense, and anything more is assault. Yeah. Bye Dorothy, bye Jill. Bye bye. <laughs> you got wrecked, you stupid lollybot. What do you have to say about that? Yes! Suffer! Suffer! I am going to drink your tears. Wow, I thought you was gonna take me away! They would put my mind in a vacuum cleaner for three years! Too if I behave well. That's what happens when you underestimate people. Why wouldn't they just decommission your ass? I'm tempted to ask, about what? DNA reading tongue? Uh very prehensile, intuitive. Also, it vibrates. Extra flexible joints. Uh I don't want to know these things, Jill. Anti-radiation coating? Hey, my skin's my first tool of the trade. I have to take care of it as much as possible. Makes it feel so soft, no matter how much it's been. Uh. Also, you fancy yourself a diviner, reading people and all? Not really. I'm just quite good at reading people. I guess it's a byproduct of dealing with so many people on a daily basis. It's a bit surreal to hear that from a Lilum. Why do they have organic skin? That's weird. What can I say about? Well, I guess. Eh, never mind. What you can say about me then? Let's see. Hmm. You're very, very, very sexually frustrated! I'm gonna... I'm gonna put you in a trash can. It's not the act itself, but rather that your partners can't seem to satisfy you on a deeper level. There's an even deeper frustration. It's been a year, by the way. We, we already established it's been a year. Since... yeah. There's an even deeper frustration. Something that's blocking you. Maybe there's someone who won't return your feelings. Damn it, Gillian. Maybe this. Maybe you were hurt in the past. Thus, your demeanor is that of someone who feels like life is playing tricks on her. Like a dog whose owner never really throws the ball. Shouldn't that be everyone in, you know, cyberpunk hellscape? Jill, dot dot dot. Oh boy, did I actually hit the nail on the head? I was making this stuff up on the fly. All of that was just rubbish, I say, because it's right 80% of the time. See, I knew it! It's every cyberpunk person ever. Generic bullshit, if you will. But you surprise the amount of sexual frustration people hold. I can't read you, honey. You're too good at putting on a professional face. But this definitely gives me more insight into you. Lucky, lucky! Aren't you late or something? I am, but if you let me satisfy your frustrations, I can stall for some time. Get out of my bar. Fine, fine. Bye, honey. Artificial intelligence come rather far, huh? One wonders how artificial it remains. Shut up, fuckboy! <laughs> Leave fuckboy alone. Leave him alone! I'm serious! Everything done? Yep. 
Hey boss, this might seem random, but... Do you remember the first time I came to the bar? You came to submit your contract? Yeah, why? Well, for some reason I've been hung up on it since this morning, and I just realized why. The visage. The visage. We're, we're, we're using visages now. You know, I learned that word because of Final Fantasy VIII. Video games teach you things. Anyway, the visage that welcomed me back then was Gil trying to pour your, pull your hand out of a jar. <laughs> you're always stuck in things. What is your... What is your deal? Is that why your neck is so long? You get stuck in helmets and you have to pull it out and it, like... It's a cartoon where your neck stays stretched afterwards? Oh yeah, that. I can't remember that exactly, but something fell inside and I tried to retrieve it. Y you do not seem like the sort of person that would say retrieve in that si situation. Sorry, I'm judging people for their words. I just kind of put my- see, kinda! You, you wouldn't say retrieve. I will definitely retrieve this kind of junk, you know. Anyway, I kind of put my hand in there and got stuck. It was a friend's jar too, so I couldn't just break it. Hey Gil, how did you get my hand out of that jar? A straw and some butter. What? Oh yeah, clever solution. Yeah, and that brings me to the random thought. That incident, the hell yesterday, how many times your foot got stuck? Th something for stomping on it. Boss, why do you get stuck in so many different things? Huh. Now that you mention it, I remember this one time she tried to eat a big sandwich and her jaw got stuck. She's Homer Simpson. I'm calling you Homer now. There's that incident with the TV. The TV incident was not my fault. How'd you get stuck in a TV? Z and S better. The assembly instructions for that stand should have been labeled the Z and S better. You saw what happened when I switched to that S2 piece with the 5Z one. Still, Jill's onto something here. Ahem, yes she is. Now, go clean the dishes and you can leave for today. I like to think she'll make an effort now to get avoid stu getting stuck in things. I want to believe. Oh! Everything will turn out all right in the end. Don't worry. We made a mistake. Our first mistake of the game. Oh well. If somebody knows what that stupid thing I was supposed to give her was, she'll subscription gotten renewed. She'll have no problem focusing at work today. Happy not birthday. Oh crap, we're gonna get pwned! $500. It's it's happy not birthday. We are so screwed. Well, tune in next time for Doom. Actually, I'll go ahead and read these stuff. You really like that website, huh? I have needs. I have needs, kitty! Are these... Alright, we already read those. It's the... That symbol indicates something new, obviously. Ugh, more Mickey. Wait, do we already? All right, yeah, no shit posting thread. All right, scared? A bit. It's officially happening. What do you think will happen? Probably nothing. Last time it was the leaks. I think Alice jumped the shark with that one because it seems hard to top. Maybe more leaks. It seems unlikely. I wouldn't think the government will let that happen twice. But this is Alice we're talking about. There's nothing they can't do. What if that spooky message wasn't really Alice, but just an epic prank? Who'd hack us out like that just for a prank, smiley face? Not me winking, smiley face! You're right. It might be someone else. We'll have to see. What was the date again? December 17th. Right, if only we knew more about the target now. Sick meme, sis! What? What? What, what meme? There was no meme! You can't, you can't just say that! I'm revoking your meme status, sir. H please hand in dat boy and your doge, and we're gonna have to fire you. So Alice Threads pissed me off, fucking e -celebs. What if it has something to do with the terrorism rumors? These people in their closed threads. The augmented eye. You wouldn't believe this shocking clickbait. It's that she's a reaver bot! Right? Today, we'll take a closer look at one of the most popular acts of our times. How did she get started? What's her favorite movie? These scan lines really make this text harder to read. Don't miss this exclusive interview, only on the augmented eye. Ah. Oh. What do you mean it's a local page? Oh. It's a local page, for fuck's sake. Um. And who is it? Alice Rabbit might be a Kiramiki fan. 
They're messing with forces they can't grasp. Or it's a ruse. Who isn't, happy face? Everyone loves Kira Mickey, and Alice Rabbit is no exception. I'm getting tired of your shit, Mish Smithy. At least they have a nice aesthetic for their hacking. You know, hacking is all about aesthetics. Crime made up 5% this month. It could be worse. God forbid things get under control here. Crime is up 5% this month, officially making the month... Officially making the mo road to Mega Christmas a dangerous one. White Knights, aware of the situation, have promised to maintain security in all sectors, even though the recent budget cuts have been decreasing morale of their personnel. An uphill battle. Poverty and the lack of opportunity is no longer the main causes of crime. Criminals come from all walks of life. They will murder and distribute drugs for no reason other than the fact that it gives them power. It's no longer about feeding their families. It's about domination. There are entire sectors controlled by these dangerous gangs. There's no solution in sight. This mega Christmas will be a very dark one. Well, that sucks. Let's... Oh, we still have one more app to get, apparently. Let's save. Hmm. Shoulder massager. You know what? I have to buy the shoulder massager. The quote-unquote shoulder massager. Where is it? Where is it? Is that it? Oh, she has an NES. I just noticed that. And, you know, the cyberpunk CRT right next to a hollow plant. Huh. I'm not sure what's new. It might be the suspiciously phallic object. I, I figured it would be something like that. It's still creepy that you have a picture of your boss with best boss on it. Whatever. Stay tuned next time for the big event, I'm assuming. Game, games like this don't have time to force shadow, just, just for shits and giggles, I guess. Alright, next time.